Okay, these are so who I think is the worst in, in the game. So who's at the bottom, bottom of the pile? Definitely has to be uh Phasma. Alright man, I'm gonna pick Phasma, so I tell you why. Her his her blasters shit. She camps around, she's got no utility, dude. Dude, I don't know man, Phasma's really an iffy because if you run both of her survivor cards, she's really good. She's got 50% damage reduction and 300 h extra HP with her E. She is D tier, she is D tier. If, if she goes open against any other hero, she's fucking trash, man. Okay, second up, second worst hero, yeah? Is definitely gonna be Lando. His blaster sucks. Everything else sucks about him. His night vision so, so, so sucks. Why the fuck are you gonna use night vision? It's never nighttime. Uh, what else can I do? He's got one CC ability, and it's pretty good. Orlando Cita, hell to the motherfucking nah. His stun is good. She. Okay. All right, man. So we got. We're getting like a. We're getting like a thing. Okay, we'll see who's in. We might. We might move up. Lando's like. He might get a promotion, you know, because he has a dude. He has a stun. Leia is dog. If a person gets onto her, they'll start left clicking her bitch ass. You already know she's gonna be at the bottom of the pile. Lando's in this game. Yeah, I know, but Lando's pretty fucking terrible, isn't it? Like if somebody goes on top of Leia, she can't do anything. She's gonna what she's gonna do blind them. They can still see attack, man. Like they're not actually blind. They can still left click her ass. You know, uh, her gun's really good though. That's that's for sure. The only good thing about her is really good. So Lando, the thing is about Lando, he's got a dog shit gun, but like he's got one stun, which means he kind of survives. But Leia's got a really good gun, but she's got a dog shit no CC, and her abilities just suck. And her star card. The thing is about Lando, his star cards also suck. He is not Cita. His star cards suck. There's only three star cards that you can run on him. And I think one of them is max health. And then I think the other one's like a... Uh... I forgot. Trust me. Alright, look here. Who is... Who is next though? He's got nine stun cards? He does not have nine stun cards. What is this? We're gonna go through it. Okay, Lando Calrissian, right? Boom. Best. I don't even have these unlocked. This is the only guy who I don't have star cards unlocked for. Yo, Q and X. And X. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. Uh, so, he's got a disabler one. Stick to the ground for a longer period of time before auto death. Who the fuck? 15 extra seconds. Why would you ever want this, man? Man, I didn't mean to put 9. There you go. Look here, man. So, I run max health. Sharp shot can target 40% extra, which is a good card. This is another good card, which is the blaster overheat, which he needs. He really does when you go in on kill streaks. And then I think. Yeah, that sucks. Cl smoke ground is larger and thicker. Look at this, man. Disabler is detonated within 5 seconds of attaching to a surface. The shock explosion is stronger and enemies are shocked for a longer duration. That that's ass, man. Wait, that's actually good. Wait. Wait, that's not called Pog Jump. Did they change that? They must have. That's a good card. What the fuck? I didn't know that card existed. Okay, whatever. <laughs> His star card is the last, man. Uh... The area of effect around Disabler will go larger over the course of 5 seconds. So it's basically just... He's just like a rip of Han, man. Like, what, what can I say, man? Han's got Death Knight. This guy's got a fucking stun grenade. Alright, whatever. I'm over it. Alright, let's see who's next. Uh, Dude, I'm not gonna put Dooku in D. He doesn't deserve D. Dooku will slice you for 300, H 300 HP. Dooku C tier? That's what I'm saying. Dooku is goddamn C tier. Oh, you know already, you know we're open up C tier with my man, my, my main man, Dooku. You don't deserve D? True. He is not running that way. Alright, um, thing is about Dooku, he's got some really good star cards. So, he can run like two builds, one for GA, one for HVV. He sucks in GA, but he's a god at, uh, thingy. But, I don't know, I feel like his lightsaber tracking has gone better. Oh, Finn is D? Nah, Finn is in D. Finn is B tier, at least. But we'll get into Finn in a bit. We'll see, you'll see why Finn is B tier. Another person who's also C tier is... Maul. You might ask, why Maul, man? Why Maul? They fucking butchered him, man! They butchered him. Alright, look at him, man. This dude... Like, he does 100 damage per spin. And he has a delay in between spins now. You know how bad that is? He's so bad now. He only does 100 damage. Say there's like a... So people have like 200 HP each, right? If you spin on a heavy twice, that's how much... You have to spin on him twice, man. And in between the intervals, he can probably roll. 
So you won't, you're not guaranteed to hit him twice. So they'll probably just roll your fucking second spin anyway. So you, the chance of you wiping an entire corridor with uh, his spin is like zero, man. It is A minimum. Yeah, true. Because like S10 HUV. Yeah, he's, he's insane in HUV. But like, uh, it doesn't equate. It's like his overall champion, Pogchamp, you know? He legit win games on his own. Uh, not really. With Vinny, you have to stay around your team, not the other way around. Your team doesn't have to stay around you, because let's be real, also, chance of you coordinating 20 people. But if you play Finn yourself and you get your buff to as many people as you can, you'll probably be able to have a bigger impact. So, yeah, that's the reason. Uh, that's the reason why I put Maul is that they are butcher the spin. His spin doesn't work half the time, and it's his best ability. And if he runs on mobility, if you don't run with mobility, you just cry yourself to sleep. If there's a nice spin, people, it just doesn't hit him. Uh, he spins in the wrong direction most of the time. It really annoys me. Alright, let's do next. Bosk. Bosk is definitely a C tier. Bosk is like... Yes. Yes, C tier. Um, they recently fixed Bosk. His E actually works now. But the thing is, he still gets rolled by Anakin. Bosk gets pulled by Anakin. He has the same kind of like uh, thing with Palpatine where you get pulled. But at least Palpatine can dash super far away after. Bosk just kind of rolls. But then when he rolls... Either rolls or jumps. Jump is a death sentence now because they made it up and down like really quickly. So Anakin always swipes at your feet every single time. So you can't really dodge it with a jump. You buy yourself time. But um, his roll doesn't get you anywhere. But Palpatine, he can get away a lot easier because his dash actually takes him places. And uh, usually Anakin's like with Dragon can't catch up to Palpatine. Whereas with Bosk, his roll doesn't get out of the way. So he's really just uh, liable to save heroes very easily. No, I don't spin in the wrong direction. I'm going through him and it doesn't do damage. Uh, I have no idea about that to be honest. I think I think his spin does work. His spin should work. Okay, next up. Is that everybody for the Sita? I think that's it. I think that's everything in Sita, right? Right? Chewy? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Chewy is like Dooku, dude. He's like he's like Dooku. Let me explain that Chewy, right? He's like Dooku. Uh in HVV. He destroys anybody in HVV, trust me. You throw your stun down. You activate your E, you get the damage reduction off your E, that's 12%, big juicy. And then, uh, you do like, you got like a whole bunch of HUV cards for him that also pop off. But like, you, and you do a ton of damage to this crossbow. His crossbow is really good. I don't know, man. He just kind of just, he, like, he's like a, basically when the walking carpet enters the map, he walks onto the game and he's like a bullet magnet. You just take so much damage with him and on, on GA. I don't know, man. He's just really tall. It's like 7 for fucking 15. Yo, Sam, thank you for your follow. I appreciate it, man. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Alright, next up. We're gonna start off the beta strong with my main man, Obi-Wan. See, the thing is about Obi-Wan, he's 50-50, dude. Obi-Wan's very defensive. He's not very offensive. And, uh, I feel like he just makes this, uh, I don't know, he makes beta, like, really pop off. Because he definitely brings a standard. Because you can really pop off with Obi-Wan. Or you could just die instantly. Because you can take a lot of dumb trades and make a stupid mistakes with him, but he regens like 600 HP, so it's fine. A boy boy UN. Vita is really good. Vita is really good. You can really pop up with him. He's got a really good skill set too. But his Q sometimes, when you're getting staggered, it kind of works with Anakin's Heroic Might. Uh, you kind of just don't work. BB and 9E and Vita? No, I don't think so. Actually, wait. Mm. BB and 9E is B, B there, I think. Okay. We will uh we will rank BB9E here. I will tell you why. He's the newest hero on the block. Uh, his his star cards. Uh, let's let's get down to his star cards, man. Star cards, fucking ass, man. Jesus Christ, his star cards suck. Let's be real, man. BB9E also has like his E doesn't do any damage at all. It does the 90 initial damage and then uh it knocks them back and then it slows them. But the slow after that doesn't really apply that much of. Damage. It's the same as a shock grenade. It doesn't do any. It doesn't do any damage at all. So if you're trying to kill a 150 health trooper, you have to spin on him for about four seconds. Who the fuck wants to be spinning on someone for four seconds? But yeah, you can. What you can do though is you can knock them down, and then uh, what people told me is you can knock people down, and then you can like follow up with a shock, and it's because his uh his auto attack or like his normal attack is really good. He's a CC. He's an absolute CC monster for sure. Um, but his Q and F are pretty fucking useless. 
Talking about GA, right? I mean, uh, the new joints BB9 are extremely good due to their size and move speed, no? Uh, the thing is about that, uh, they can also get countered very easily. So if a saber hero does jump on top of them, they uh, they do die very easily. But if, if you're playing the opposite, if you're playing a blaster hero, you're obviously going to struggle aiming at them, and that's what move speed and utility is uh, good for. But he's got a smoke grenade as well, which does wreak havoc, and it does make it so that you do lose all trace of him uh, when you're trying to track him with a saber hero. hero. But uh, for the most part, he is pretty defenseless. He's as defenseless, he's as, defenseless as boss when it comes to our saber heroes. Uh, we can do... Who else do we need to put in B? I think Ray's beat her. Dude, I, the thing is about Ray, right? Right now, I have like a phase where I'm like playing like loads of Ray, right? Like Ray, her wall hack is probably really good for the enemy team. Angry, Grievous beat her? Hell no, nah, Grievous is not fucking beat her. Hell no. Nah. Hold on, we, we'll, we'll pull up to Grievous in a second. Ray, right? Her insight, dude? Let's be real in it. My teammates can't aim anyway. What the fuck do I need to give them wall hacks for? Okay. That's over, right? Uh, Ray's Q. It's good, but it doesn't do that much damage. And you're also exposing itself to a lot, and you can also get CC during it. Um, I feel like she is on par with Obi-Wan though. Uh, the mind trick is pretty good. I, th I mean, they're both mind trick characters, but yeah. Just know. Ray's better against bad teams? She is. Um, when they can't, when they can't like, I don't know, she's really easy to like, you can make mistakes with her very easily. Like if you, if you dash strike the wrong place, or if you, if you go in and, cause she hasn't got any gap closes per se. She doesn't have any force abilities, so um, if you get if you don't get like a if you get into like the wrong positioning, you can die with her very easily. But then Obi Wan is kind of one of those heroes that are completely the opposite, and you can make those mistakes. But yeah, I'm above S tier as a hero. Mm -hmm. This dude thinks he's god. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. Fuck. Think it's about Boba. He's really good. But like, if you have bad aim, it's really bad. You feel? Boba B? Nah, there's no way Boba's B. On console, dude, he'd definitely be here. If you're a console player, yeah, you're just gonna spam Rocket Barrage forever. But he's definitely A. On, and he's definitely A. Overall, he's definitely A. That's for sure. Because you can you can be insane with his mobility. No, even if you're not. Even if you are on console. Like, his, his tracking is pretty good as well. To Boba Fett, his Q and E are like... Um, his concussion is basically like, dude, nobody uses it, man. But it goes through walls, which is pretty good. Um, his E, though, for the Hun, it does give you unlimited jetpack, and it also does give uh, wall hacks, similar to Ray. Um, and it does take you off the minimap as well, which is huge for Boba Fett when you're going around with those flanks. Uh, so that is what, that's what makes him an A tier. And his star cards are fucking trash, to be honest. Actually, just trash. Six time oil up or jump. Everyone else has to be A, or not because Anakin and Vader. True, true, true. That's the thing, okay. This is why I wanted to say Grievous was A tier. Grievous, look at it, man. Grievous, he gets sit trained, right? Okay, look at it. Grievous is an absolute tank as it is, right? He's got damage reduction, 800 HP. He's huge, yeah, but he's also got a dash and his jump is also fucking insane. His jump, if you use it, it goes up and down like a fucking rocket. Tracking that shit is insanely hard. Um, his abilities are fucking great. Let's be real in it. He had like the worst abilities in the game because literally they don't wouldn't work all the time. But now they do. They do an insane amount of fucking damage. And if he's like a glass cannon, but like he's got that damage reduction card, and he's also got like very uh, tanky star cards as well. So he's like a Vader, but he does a whole bunch of fucking damage. Like he can get up close and personal and fuck you up. His thrust surge is a gap closer. His F is a gap closer, and his unrelenting advances are fucking unit of ability. Um, and it does, and they all do a bit. They all do damage, and his. Sith train star card makes it that he swings more than 150, so he just one shots people with his uh, a single saber. So he's he's nuts, man. He should I don't know, man. If it wasn't I don't know what's making him not S tier per se, but like I don't know. I don't know what's not making him S tier. I guess he just doesn't size up to Anakin Vader. You know what I mean? Uh, what's up, egg roll? How you doing? Yo, EFLO. Thank you for the uh, follow. I appreciate it. Stamina, true stamina is. Oh my god, he, that's one of the things I didn't talk about. His block stamina is trash. That's why. That is why. That is why. Okay. Uh, next up, controversial topic. Then, then carry an entire team. I would sacrifice my Vader on an 80 kill streak just to kill this bitch at the end of last phase on the boot. You know that? I would. I would. Because you're not going to win the game if you don't kill him. 
Trust me, if this this dude in choke points is absolutely insane and he's so hard to counter. He gives everybody extra 100 HP, cooldown reduction, and a 55% damage reduction buff. Who? Why? Anyway, um, he also has his uh, aim lock ability, which absolutely destroys Boba Fett, and it also destroys Palpatine, and it destroys any other blaster hero, because you just you don't even need to aim. And then he can also destroy infantry with it as well, if you use Deadeye build. And then he has his F ability, undercover team, which takes him off minimap and gives him fucking wall hacks. Like, hello? But then again, he is a blasted hero, so he fucking sucks. So, he, he, like, he, he, just, he just gets rolled by like, any save hero. He's a big deal. Mm. Let's go. Alright, next up. Yoda. These, these two come in like a pair. That just both as cancer as each other, but Yoda recently got nerfed. Yoda would have been S tier if it was like a few months back, that's for sure. Finn gives damage reduction, he gives a whole bunch of fucking damage reduction. That was insane. Have you ever noticed it takes like 10 more swings to kill someone that's Finn buffed? It. You have to swing at someone six times as a heavy to kill them. Because they're constantly, and they're also constantly getting healed during his big deal. Yoda, he is lesser than. Uh, a few months back, he was really powerful, but they nerfed his presence a whole lot. The only thing that's putting him in the A tier is really his hitbox. His Q scales up to 400 damage, and it has an insane range. And he also has a block break ability that's his F. And then he's also an insane he's someone's target. His tracking though is completely ass, but you can just eliminate that by jump swinging. Um, what else could you say about it? I don't know. Lando too low? No, Lando. Lando deserves to be where he is. I explained it earlier in the stream. You can check the one. You can see my uh, my reasoning. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, move on. I think that's everything about Yoda. I don't really know Yoda's star cards too well. My Yoda isn't that high of a level. But he used to be like S tier material. But uh, they did they did nerf him. He used to be on a uh, Anakin Vader level. Okay, next up is BB9E. Wait, that's BB8. Oh, man. Anyway, um, BB8. Uh, he's absolutely insane as you guys all know you guys are probably way too familiar with him You've probably seen uh, people destroy with him. His Q is pretty fucking insane uh, He has the 12% I think it's like I don't know it's like an exposed weakness but like in a radius When he's taking damage and then he also got a cable spin ability and it's hella bugged right now and it's making him insane so uh, He's also got an F which knocks people down which is basically a soldier charge And then um what else is there? His star cards are hella good too. Star cards are also bugged. And you also just, I probably, you cable spin people from like around walls and stuff. And it's pretty nuts. And his mobility and utility gives him a lot of, uh, gives him a lot of movement. And, and uh, it's what gives him like a rank above BB9E, basically. Wait, they have the most the same mobility. Man. But Luke and Kylo and S there too. So A isn't too full. Yeah, I think I am. Um, but they are, dude, if anything, they should be like, uh, dude, they should be in a tier of their own above them, to be honest. Uh, we're gonna be going on to, fuck, Aiden is also really good though, okay. We'll go to Han, right? Somebody said Han should be B tier. Han is not B tier, man. Han one shots with his DL44. His DL44 is probably the most powerful blaster in the game, hands down. Actually, wait, there's Aiden's blaster. Fuck. All fight is pretty powerful though. It's the most powerful, let's be real on that. He dies too easily. No, not really. He's got two CC abilities and they both do damage. Let's talk about his Q and his F. His Q and his F can literally CC, a Vader and kill his ass. If you aim it correctly. So if you death tonight someone for 300 damage and then you also, you also knock them down so you can get another like one shot in and then you can also use his uh, shoulder charge and that also knocks people down and does damage. It does about, oh, they buffed it so that it does 200 damage now, right? So he's pretty fucking nuts. And then his E is also just uh, insane. So that's why Han should be A tier, that's for sure. Yeah, so literally you never lose the 1v1 to Han, no excuse. Uh, it's happened. It's happened, definitely. Especially if the, the thing is, the thing is about that PK, right? It isn't, if you're, if you're a good Han, um, even if the level of the Vader is very good, what you can do though, the Vader will start to realize if you're a really good Han, you'll back away because you'll just get, I don't know, you can just get fucked up easily, man. They'll put Kylo in B. Excuse me? Luke and Kylo B to how? His abilities also don't knock back half the time. At least for me. 
Oh, show, 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 show. He's not too much squishy. Wow. Kylo, Kylo and Luke. Luke is just too good. Luke spins swing speed is only second to Dooku. And that's that's passively. Dooku has to get like it started, innit? Like Dooku slow start off slow and then but Luke's just insane with it. Not Luke, just Kylo. I don't think Kylo's dude, I don't think Kylo's beat here. There's no way. Look okay, here man. Let me explain something about Kylo. He has two CC abilities. The only person that's got two CC abilities that's also insane is Anakin. His, his pull and his freeze are pretty fucking nuts. Hello? Kylo's A for sure. There's no way. Because A without intensify, S with full intensify. Yeah. Okay. I think, dude, I think Aiden's S there. Is that weird? Kylo is S there. Okay, let's talk about Kylo, right? <clears throat> His swings do about, I think it's. 125 damage per so his his swings are like one of the weakest in the game let's let's keep that in mind he swings like nothing but he also has a fucking a tracking frenzy that does about i don't know how much it does he also it's also one of the slowest as well yeah true um his frenzy is pretty fucking insane though uh it tracks people uh, and it has an insane range if you use both frenzy cards you do an insane amount of damage you one shot heavies with it wait do you one shot heavies you do right uh i think you do right no I think it keeps something like one HP, right? Best cut is he does have the best cut. Okay, so let's talk about it, right? His uh his Q, you can run two star cards and a harsh pull or increased pull, uh, or you can just run both if you're a dickhead. It does uh 40 damage at base and then 75 uh with harsh pull, which is pretty pretty nuts. And then it has a crazy range, it has like Anakin's range, but it doesn't pull people that are directly to him like Anakin used to do. Um, so isn't that good, but his freeze is probably one of his best abilities 190 damage with a frenzy? Okay Right, 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 right I think his, I think his, I think his freeze is very, very good though His freeze can't be like a, I think it's his best ability to be honest Kind of maxes out at 75? Alright his, his freeze is his best ability for sure That's for sure, because if you If you have really good coordination with your team, it can be easily abused and I think that's what makes him A tier. I mean, it's what makes him have like a, a high edge of, across these B tier. There's no way he should be around with these, with these, with these, uh, with these heroes. That's for sure. It, it does no damage, but the thing is about coordination. You don't really. You can if you freeze someone, they're frozen for like what four four seconds. In that time, you can do so much damage. It's not. And also, let's be real. Actually, did they change it? You know how when you pull people now? You know how they said they recover quickly from lockdowns? Can you still get two saber swings in? If they are, if they fall in front of you? I don't think you can anymore. Kylo can only swing once. Anakin can? Right. So Anakin can and Kylo can't. Okay. That sucks. Still, his CC chain is ridiculous. And yeah, his uh... Yeah, his, he can't use his frenzy either unless you swing once and then you frenzy and then cancel the swing animation with frenzy and then you get two off maybe uh, i think they'll be blocking by that time that sucks all right uh let's talk about palpatine palpatine is a weird, weird subject because he just got nerfed but i don't know whether he's as op as people think he is because i don't think he's as op anymore he got nerfed hella hard Definitely A, yeah. I don't think he's as invincible as he was last patch. Everybody was picking him 24-7 and it really pissed me off. I would see a Palpatine every two seconds every game in a row and it would piss me off because everybody just have no skill and they just uh, chain lining and they chain lining me through through block as well. That was the most annoying thing because I'd be low HP, I'd get damage to aura, I'd get a slow bug or some shit and I'd be running like Usain Bolt at one miles per hour and I'd also, I don't know man, he was really buggy and it was really annoying to play against him uh, before But I feel like now he has toned down from S And he's more of a 8th A tier He has an insane amount of range with uh, all of his star cards And the show no mercy card that gives him reduced cooldown reduction and the chain lining is still one of his best uh, If you stack that, he's definitely A tier um, In HVV, he's really good as well And his mobility is really good and can be easily abused That's for sure 
He can still shoot while dashing. He can. There's no. Oh wait, no. He can't. No. What they changed is, uh, they sh they made it so that he can. He can't use his lightning while you're using abilities anymore. So basically, what you could do is you used to be able to chain lightning and also default attack, and also you could use uh electrocute. And you could also use his default. So he would be able to do like a, a 300 damage, like a insta, like insta burst. That'd be insane. Okay. We got our last heroes, man. Okay, look at man. I have a really iffy, iffy subject about this. Because I went against Widow. Widow's Iden, right? And the thing is, I feel like that's going to be scarred, right? And her shock range, I feel like, is really good. And it's like, um... It's got it can it's got like insane range if you have the uh, star card on and it can literally reach like half the map so I think she's insanely good and She her all fire is really good as well, but her stun bounces off people half the time and if they don't fix her stun She's a tier for sure Because her stun is ass and it's unreliable half the time and she's still a blaster hero So she can't really compete with these three Then she, she's nice there. There's no way but Iden as a whole, uh, her shield is really good. And Lasto can still go through it, which really pisses me off. Lat shouldn't be able to go through her shield. And um, her Q is pretty unreliable. And her pulse rifle is pretty good as well. But her gun is probably what puts her the, one of the best heroes in the game. Stun is like, what the fuck? It bugs so many times. True. It's really annoying trying to get a stun. But, okay, but, okay, look at her. But, Aiden, they recently made it so that, you know how you can hit people when they're blocking from behind? So now when you walk up to Aiden holding block and she stuns you and you walk forward, you'll get stunned. So you can't walk forward on Aiden anymore, which is so annoying, I swear to God. You get like shocked through your block, so it's harder to counter her, especially a good Aiden. Okay, let's talk about Luke. Luke, star cards. Increase post range, epicenter, that's what I use, right? And then intensify last. Intensify is probably the best star card, and it's what makes him probably the best. He swings for 166 when it's fully maxed out at 30 kills, which is pretty fucking nuts. Like, and he swings really fucking quick too. Really quick. He could, he could definitely, um, I think he does like 200 damage and he gets like, what, two? I don't know. I don't know what the, what the, uh, what the card does exactly. But um, his CC combo, he has two force abilities and a rush. His rush makes it so that um, he can close the gap between his push very easily. And you can also use an animation cancel where you uh, left click and then rush as well. And then you can just instant one shot 150s. Or you can instant one shot heavies as well. Wait, can you? If you use rush and and left click, I don't know. It, I guess yeah, intensify has to be stacked, but uh, we'll see. He's a meat grinder. Yeah, if you start left clicking with Luke, you cannot be stopped. Especially if you're playing correctly. His health regen time is also one of his big, biggest... Uh, like his biggest uh pros for sure okay let's go on to uh vader which i think is probably the second best hero in the game with anakin falling just above but, like people this is like a it's very contested because these two are the same people man let's be real but like uh one of them is very tanky okay they're both very tanky actually okay let's talk about vader first light table throw if you have his lightsaber throw range card on, it's insane. His lightsaber throw does 150 damage, and then it can also come back for another 150 damage, which is absolutely insane. He also swings like a motherfucking truck. And his E makes it like he swings even harder. David is the best now. Vader is just insane with his damage reduction and choke. Definitely. The thing is, he's getting nerfed though. He has damage reduction during choke. He's got a 75% damage reduction, Guillaume said, but he's getting down to 20%. But I don't think he needs any damage reduction because he can block during his choke. So, um... I don't know. Okay, let me put it here, man. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say Vader is the best duelist, right? In a 1v1, in a lightsaber battle, he's probably better than Anakin. But Anakin at killing infantry is way better than Vader. But the thing is, if you want a 1v39, you can do it with Vader way easier than Anakin. Because with Anakin, you actually get your, you have to get yourself into tight situations. And um, it's like high risk, high reward. But with Vader, you can tank the entire thing, pull one lightsaber throw in, or choke the entire team. But the thing is with Vader, you also can't choke more than six people. Oh, that sucks. If he chokes more than six people, he just doesn't pick them up, which is really a fucking annoying. Um, Vader's star cards are really good as well. Vader's star cards allow for a lot of room and liability. Uh, I think he has like a great star card set. I don't really want to check it right now, but he does have an, he does have an insane star card set. I'm running right now. I'm running double choke cards and uh, lightsaber throw range just because of this event. I just want to 
there's a lot of heroes next to each other and it does like it's like what a 200 damage combo 250 damage combo somewhere around there better can stay alive easier yeah he's very easy to maneuver okay let's do uh let's go to anakin best track in the game right best tracking in the game at least in my opinion at least in my opinion right so two cards and negates that bug it does 330 damage to heroes yeah that's disgusting that is actually disgusting and then you do 150 damage and then it hits back sometimes all right so let's talk about anakin right uh fastest fastest swing speed or like one of the fastest swing speeds the fa best tracking in the game does fucking backflips and shit just to track you dude uh, he also hits like a truck with master strikes even without master strikes. He still does an insane amount I don't know how much Anakin does on does anyone know how much Anakin base saber attack does and like with master strikes I don't actually know um, So next up is Anakin It's 130? I'm oh, sorry actually Oh, it's 130 and then 150 I guess Because uh, it's 20 master strikes have 20 Right uh, so his Q is pretty fucking insane. It's the uh, pull dominance. You can honestly, if you run both pull cards, it's the most nasty thing I've ever seen. You can do 150 damage to troopers, one shot an entire. It's it's worse than heroic mate. It can clear rooms easier than heroic mate if you use both pull cards, because um, the range is just insane. You can pull people from across the map as well. Because we're talking about Aiden stun range. Aiden stun range with a shock reach card is the same as Anakin's, and also I think Kylo has the same uh, pull range as well. And he, the thing is about Kylo, he doesn't do as much damage, but... Okay, how's Kylo. it going? Yeah, oh, Corey Fish here. with a 9 viewer host! Ooh. Thanks so much, dude, I appreciate it. You're nuts, man. Vader's full combo right now does 700 damage, because you can swing two times in the choke, plus the throw. Yeah, that's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Absolutely nuts, Corey. How's your stream, man? I appreciate it, bro. Absolutely nuts. We're talking about Taylor's, and we literally just finished it, man. Uh... We're gonna talk about Anakin's E afterwards, his Heroic Might. His Heroic Might is something that scales in range after you take damage, but like, uh, it does 150 damage with the star card and 100 at base, but it's an insane at CC. If you use the QE combo, it's probably the worst in the game. The QE combo does 300 damage in total and it leaves you CC'd, or it leaves you like CC'd for about like four seconds, I think, because the animation when you're coming in with the pole and when you also get knocked down. And then you can also get Saber Swing once, which means 130 damage, 250 if you're using Master Strikes. And then you can also use Passionate Strike after that, which does 180 damage, I think. Absolutely insane. Bro, hey bro, I'm hanging. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, man. Thank you for the uh, host. I appreciate it, man. It was a salad. I did, man. Uh, so, Anakin's. Like, uh. Anakin's full combo compared to Vader's is QE, Swing, F. Which is basically about uh, 150, 150, 300, and then uh, 150 again, which is 450, and then the 170, which is, comes about near to 700, so 6, 670. Used to be 330, yeah, it used to be 330 before the uh, the heroic, was it heroic might? Oh, 200 damage for passing the strike. Used to be 330. What the fuck? Last nerf, really? So it does 600 and wait. 650 damage, I assume. Somewhere around there, man. <laughs> what does C10 mean and why I'm in it? It just means uh, the hero ranking. Hey, right. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, let me talk about something. Anakin's Retribution? This thing's got fucking four abilities, man. He could CC you for about 17 seconds and you just die, man. Uh, and Anakin can also clear rooms easier than Vader. I think Vader, I don't know, man. These two are very close, very close together. Very close. But uh, I think Anakin, just because he has four abilities, brings it up. Vader can just stay alive, man, I know, but Anakin's retribution is pretty fucking nasty and his, his pull dominance as well and his heroic might as well. Jesus. That is a nasty combo. And retribution can really be charged very quickly depending on how your team is. You reckon, you reckon Anakin could one shot a Vader with a combo if he QE? Left click, F, and then dash behind them, retribution, and then just hit them once more. That, that sounds disgusting, actually. <laughs> Wait, that sounds, that sounds terrible. Right. That's basically my, uh, my tier list. If you guys don't like it, suck your mother. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.